It'll be one to go this time, bye. Coming to the green, buddy, coming to the green. Let's go get him. Go, 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 take, 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 go, 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 go. Get your motor running. Head out on the highway. We'll go over here to the left with David and then back over here to Jim Pedley. David Caravello, NASCAR.com. Uh, Rick, when you look back, going back to Jimmy for a second, when you look back at, at his 04 and 05 seasons, when he came close and he didn't win it, how did going through that make him what he is today? You know, any time uh, – Jimmy is uh, – he and Chad both have really developed this professional approach to – racing for a championship and Jimmy's and Chad both are willing to do whatever it takes. I mean from Jimmy's approach to fitness to uh, being, you know, communicating with Chad or uh, in the past testing, uh, he's willing to do whatever it takes and he's almost like a computer giving you feedback of what the car's doing and uh, his download during the race and even after the race is phenomenal and Chad is always trying to figure out new stuff to try and new approaches uh, to setups and uh, you know I think I think it's it's both miss you know being short those years but also just getting better and knowing what it takes and being prepared every year uh, you know the longer you got good people working together the better they become and uh, they just keep refining what they do every year so I think the chemistry is just been better but nothing beats experience you know and being there fighting for a championship and losing one will motivate you you know when you lose one close and they've just uh, you know all you can do is put yourself in that position and uh, they've done a good job of doing that come back over to Jim yeah Jim Pedley with the Kansas City Star Rick, Rick the 48 team kind of appears almost to re represent a, a perfect storm over the last couple of years right people in place, right time, right cars and things like that. Have you ever seen this before in a sport? Have you ever experienced a, a perfect storm like this? Well, you know, I was lucky enough to have that with Jeff Gordon and uh, we won four championships in a row. Terry had one, Jeff had three uh, back in the 90s and uh, Ray and Jeff were kind of hitting every week. I mean, you know, things were kind of clicking the same way. Uh, but you know, you have to have a lot of racing luck too in this business because you know, Carl Edwards had a he had a, a problem with ignition in, in Charlotte. You take that away, and and uh, you know he'd be right there. So you know you just have to try to make sure nothing happens, and you can't control a broke motor or a, a you know blown motor like Jeff had at, uh, at Phoenix. Uh, those kind of things are going to happen. Or you run over something and cut a tire. So we've had good racing luck too in the chase. So, uh, but it it has been almost flawless. Uh, outside of that Texas, I think it was Texas. We'll go uh, down here to Mr. Utter. Jim Utter, Shaw Observer. Uh, Mr. Hendrick, going back to something you said earlier, how close would you say was uh, Jimmy and Chad not remaining together? And, and was it your uh, perception going into that meeting that you kind of thought that they were already, you were already going to separate them and then ended up changing your mind? You know, uh, I, I've been down that road so many times. Uh, I, I can remember sitting down with Harry Hyde and Jeff Bodine and in, in, in different situations over the years. And most of the time when it gets to a point of conflict, you, you patch it up, but it always erupts again. And But in this meeting, these guys really put their heart on the table and they talked specifically about what they didn't like and uh, and instead of holding it in, they were able to, uh, you know, become closer friends, and still respect each other's professional position in the in the team. But they just, you know, I'm I'm real proud of them because I I would have bet money that we couldn't fix it. And it was kind of like why go through another year and wait till mid year and have it blow up and then have to fix it. Let's do it now. And, but after that meeting, I felt really good, and I think they felt good because there were a lot of little things that they didn't know irritated the other one, and they're professional enough that they fixed it. So I think in so many cases, communication is the key, and if you can, you know, they, they've done a great job. We'll go over here to Mike and then come back to David. 
Rick, just a, an offshoot of, of what Jim asked you. Um, in your estimation, then, coming out of that meeting, do you feel like had they gone their separate ways, uh, had, had they not made this patch, do, do you think that Jimmy Johnson could have gone on to become who he's become without Chad Knauss and vice versa? Could Chad Knauss have been who he's become without Jimmy? I think both of those guys would be successful in their own right, but I think they're stronger together because, again, they – they know each other, and uh, if, if and, and what we talked about really that day was 80 to 90 percent of what they did was perfect. It's that other piece that was causing the discomfort and the just irritating each other. And I, I, I just think they click. I mean, they, they are both intense, and they fit each other well. They understand each other now, and they almost know what the other guy's thinking when, when they're talking. And um, that experience... It, I, I, I'm sure, uh, you know, both of them would be successful in their own right. But I'm convinced that they're better off, and they. I don't think either of the two would have had the success they've had together, because it would have been a learning period with somebody new. Go over here to David and come back over to Bruce. Yeah, Rick David Newton, ESPN.com. Assuming you save money on testing, um, will you spend that money on other things? What would you spend it on if you did do that? And Will this broaden the gap between the teams that can so-called redistribute the wealth at the top of the field and compared to the bottom of the field? Well, I, you know, the, the one thing that I know about this new car is what works for one driver won't work for the other driver. It's all, it's got to be, it, it, it's, it's got to be tuned to the, the needs of the individuals. What we learned with Jimmy doesn't do Jeff, he can try it, but he doesn't like it and Junior or, or Casey, uh, I don't see that the that, that testing is going to change. The, the elimination of testing is, I, I don't see how it's going to benefit anybody one over the other other than saving some money maybe. Um, you know, I, I can't see what we've been through this year. It took us going to the track to get, get better. So I think if NASCAR opens up Fridays, uh, with more time and uh, everybody's there. I mean, if you're testing in, in Kentucky with the wrong tire, and, and look, I'm a big, I'm, I want to test. I mean, I, I, I want to test. But, um, it, you know, we all need to be conscious of what we're spending because if you're lucky enough to have a sponsor today and you've got to renegotiate in 2010, chances are you're not going to get any increase. You're going to probably get cut. So... We, we're going to have to make adjustments until the economy comes back. But I don't see a big benefit personally of, of any one group over the other. I think I do believe that everybody showing up at the same time, if you go to any, this is my experience for what it's worth, some of the better uh, prepared teams, when they unload, they're the fastest, okay? But then if you give everybody a couple of practices, everybody catches up. The gap kind of gets closer. So the theory, I, my theory is if, if you give two hour and a half sessions on Friday uh, with, with the data in the car, that that will let most everybody, if, if you can't figure it out in two of those sessions, then chances are you're not going to figure it out that weekend. It will be one down the road.